I'll be doing a little bit of work today on my girlfriend's 91 Volkswagen Golf. Um, I noticed when I put it on the rollers the other day there that uh, there was a tad bit of play in the front end on the left front. Um, needs a wheel bearing up front. So I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about it, how we're going to get it done, easiest ways to do it, a couple tips, a couple tricks, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's show you guys the car. That's it, so we'll get the jack, put it in here with the jack stand, take this wheel off, I'll show you guys the play of the front end, and uh, we'll get started on it. Uh, before we get started, let's do a little tour on it. This car doesn't get driven much at all. I think we've had it for about six or seven years now. Basically, it was all torn apart when we got it. Um, I'll see if I could post a couple photos with it. It was kind of hacked, to be totally honest, everything that was done with it. But uh, we got it looking pretty good. I think maybe in the seven years we've put... 600 kilometers on it if that loop that up but if you can see that's off the ground so is that the suspension is pretty tight on this one here so that's moving too so lift up a little bit more just so i can get that out slide that in, just like that pull that out of the way take the wheel off So, wheel here, there's the play in it, up and down. Good shape there. These here, they've been sitting for so long. I'll probably take these to work and give them a little cut so I can clean those up a bit. Probably end up spraying these here. Um, I didn't like the silver that I put on it first. I didn't want the red because I didn't want too many accents on it. But I'll probably end up going red with those, do a brake service on it while I'm in here. Um, pull the tie rod off, pull this axle nut off here, pull the lower ball joint out. There's the uh, ABS. We don't need that because that's pointless. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got one of these out. This one here is going to come out shortly. Um, got the axle nut off. Brake caliper. Just kind of place it or hang it up somewhere. So you don't want this here being pulled down and pulled down. So this is off here. Undo the bolt. My, my case, it was a 19. That sits in there, whack this here a couple times and this will pop up a bit. And then you're good to go there. Um, now what I'm gonna do is there's three bolts on the lower here underneath. One of them is broken as it just broke off because it's common. So I'm gonna take off the other two. If they break, they break. If they don't, they don't. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so one of the bolts on the bottom is being a little bit stubborn, it's stripped. One of them broke, this one here. This one came out fine, that's okay, I'll just replace it with a uh, stud and two nuts. Uh, one here is being a little bit difficult, it's stripped. Um, if I was... Okay, so that one there is stripped. Like I said, if I had a torch, I'd take it off, but what I'll do is I'll just cut it flush the head so I can pull that ball joint out, get a new one of those. Took the 19 mil off up here. All you do is whack, whack, whack here, and then uh, your knuckles off. Now you're ready to uh, put a bearing in. Let's see if you hear that. Yeah, kind of difficult to hear, but that's it. So press a bear, press this one out, press a new bearing in, throw it back together. All right, well, that one didn't want to come out. Like I said, it was just stripped. There's the head of it, like that. So all I did was get a reciprocating saw like this, cut it, you can see the blade marks there. Um, but I just did that, 
knocked it through with a pin punch and uh the ball joint is out and over here so there's a bit of play in it there and the boot was ripped so i got a new bearing i'll order one of these and then uh put her back together see what it looks like okay so we'll put this in here lower ball joint if it's a little bit tight you can always just hit it lightly So after you hit this one in a couple times, if you're still having some issues lining up the bolt holes, basically you can just get a screwdriver, put it in there, and uh, just pry it so you can line them up. Okay, so you grab your knuckle, the lower, your new bolt, throw that on there, put the bolt on, put the axle in, and then that. All right, rotors on, caliper, caliper hanger. Uh, I lubed up the end of the pads, some of that. Also the sliders with a synthetic um, brake lubricant because you're not supposed to use that stuff on it because it seizes up and it gets really hard. So that's all fixed up there. Everything's in tight, tie rod, this, that, and the other. So uh, we'll throw the spacer on, throw the wheel on. That's it. All right, that's all done. Wheel bearing, lower ball joint, machine the rotor, new pads, all back together. Uh, hopefully this thing will see the road. Doubt it, but uh, at least it'll look good sitting here. Other than that, everything's done. We'll catch you in the next one.